You know, a lot of people think that evolution is a sort of random process. You know, it's often been said, Stephen Jay Gould used to say this, if you rerun the tape of life again, then everything would have been totally different, you know, because it's simply random. And our own presence here on the planet is like one giant accident. But it's very interesting that in recent research, and I'm talking about quite recent, the past 10 or 20 years, it's now looking much more as if this is a tightly controlled process. The whole process of evolution itself is a very tightly controlled process. It's channeled along certain pathways. It's almost as if you had a river which could only run along a certain uh, riverbed, if you like, which was pre-prepared for it. It was going in that direction. And the kind of things that are showing that are things like what we call in evolutionary biology convergence. The fact that the same things have kept evolving time and time again independently in different evolutionary lineages. Take the eye for example. I mean it turns out the eye has evolved more than 20 times independently during the history of evolution. What that means is that separate lineages and separate evolutionary kind of histories, eyes have appeared. That's very remarkable, isn't it? And what it means is that in this kind of planet of light and darkness, you, you need eyes to see around. Well, that's what you're going to get. That's what evolution is going to produce for you. We see the same in the evolution of proteins. It turns out now we know about the structure of hundreds and hundreds of different proteins. It turns out that of all the thousands and millions of possible structures, there are actually only a few, relatively few, actually only about 1,400 kind of motifs or structural motifs that actually do the job that proteins need to do. In other words, evolution has come up with the best proteins to do the job, if you like. It's almost platonic, actually. It's almost as if there are proteins up there somewhere and evolution has come up with what those proteins ought to be. That's a very remarkable finding and that's very recent. And it fits much more with the idea of the Christian understanding that there is a purpose and a goal in this whole process that's going on in evolution.